sometimes people are endowed with really special gifts. Great musicians like Bach preach God's grace with incredible soundscapes. Theologians like Dietrich Bonhoeffer are examples of discipleship and courage, and worldly leaders like King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden victoriously led troops into battle. Well, that is a questionable accomplishment, but at least he had the decency to get himself killed in the process. But when the soul is a vast open space where intellectual tumbleweeds are blown about by the cold winds of talentless insignificance, then you can still make your mark on history when you go and sell stuff. Used cars, for instance, or shady investments, or if you live in Reformation times, indulgences. Indulgences are a very useful product that gets you out of hell free for a fee. It's an official church document, and if you are really bad and, for instance, rape the mother of God herself, indulgences, this nifty little device can still get you off the hook, says Johann Tetzel. 1465-1519, a Dominican monk whose claim to fame is scaring the people with God's wrath until they buy indulgences as if there was no tomorrow and the church makes tons of cash. To be fair, Tetzel said he never said anything like you can rape the mother of God and get off the hook free. Martin Luther said he did. And 500 years later, nobody can really prove anything. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But he did say that as soon as the coin in the coffer clings, a soul from purgatory springs. The story goes that a nobleman asked him if he could buy an indulgence that covers future sins, and naturally Tetzel said yes. The nobleman coughed up the cash, hid in the forest, and when Tetzel came along, the nobleman jumped out of the bush and beat the bejesus out of Tetzel and got off the hook, covered by the indulgences for future and after the beating past sins. And that is exactly how we should remember Tetzel, getting his ass whipped by a nobleman who bought insurance.